Uh, Coach Rob Senderoff again with uh, Kent State. Just a couple issues. You'll be going down, obviously, for the Final Four. Uh, you're going to have coaches meetings. You're going to be meeting with a lot of uh, NCAA officials. What kind of things, just a couple things that, that I've heard coming up, pay for play. You know, where, where are you with that? Where do you think coaches are with that? In terms of well, I think with with what's gone on uh, this year with the FBI probe and everything like that, I, I think that there clearly are going to be changes made to uh, to the system. Mm -hmm. um, what those changes are, you know, I'm not sure what they are necessarily what they should be, but uh, it seems pretty clear that something has to change, and mm -hmm. that will certainly be a conversation topic that uh, that in the head coaches meeting we have, and then. I'm part of the NABC Congress. Each league mm -hmm. has a representative, uh, so there'll be 32 representatives there for a separate meeting. That uh, that I'm sure that will be a big discussion uh, in terms of what the changes uh, are going to be, or or what coaches think they should be. Probably another one in there. Uh, I don't know how much you followed it with the NIT and some of those rules. Rule changes. Rule changes. Do you see anything there? Is there anything that now that you see it? If you've seen it in some of those games that you like or don't like, I hate the quarter system. That's, yeah. But that's just the old school in me. I don't know. But they also have the wider lane yeah. and a couple other things. Where where do you sit with some of that? You know, I, again, I think the rules committee, there's another committee of coaches that meet on that. Um, usually when they experiment mm -hmm. with things, one or two of those become rules in the mm -hmm. following year or the year after that. I don't think there is going to be major rule changes this coming year, mm -hmm. but quite possibly, I think you'll see quarters. Uh, do you or, like quarters? I haven't done that yet, so <laughs> I don't know. But I do like this. I do like, uh, you know, the NBA where you t call a timeout and you can take it across half court. Uh, you don't like it. I do. I think mm -hmm. that's as you lessen the shot clock, which they they've done. Mm -hmm. There's mo less coaching opportunities for the coaches. That's why they say the NBA is a player's game more than college. Right. Um, so to give coaches opportunities on side out of bounds plays and some things like that, I sort of like, but I do understand the 20 minute halves and, and things like that. Have you seen the wider lane? What yeah, you, I, you know what, that's something I'd have to see more of to understand better how that impacts things. But um, I, I would have thought, you know, the history of your program is yeah. that you guys would like to throw it you inside. You like to throw it inside. Yeah. That would be something you'd kind of. Yeah, but then there's more three seconds. That's why I need to look at that a little bit more closely to see how that may or may not impact us. I think where mm -hmm. there's a wider, wider lane in, in Europe and in the NBA, there's much less post-ups. You see more drive and kick and less post-ups. That's the way the game has gone. Mm -hmm. uh, in college, you do throw it inside a lot, or some teams do, we mm -hmm. do, for sure. Uh, and certainly, that's one of the things that we've been pretty strong with is having a good inside player. Two more real quick. Uh, you expect to hear anything from, from, or what do you expect to hear from Mark Emmert when he speaks to the coaches? Yeah, you know what, he speaks every year to the coaches and, and certainly he will address, I would assume, uh, all of the FBI stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, along with that, some of the changes that, that may be proposed. Um, we do those meetings. We also, our conference, the head right. coaches, we have a meeting. and we'll discuss you know, our league and what we need to do or what we can do to try to promote our league and get our league even better than it was this kinda, past year. Kind of on that, that, that note and, and wrapping up, there's a lot of talk about expanded conference schedules. Again, I'm, I'm probably old school. I, I, I think that hurts you more than helps you, although I've heard a lot of argument, and I'm talking at, at the mid-major level. Yeah. It seems like you know when the bigger conference do it, that's more exclusive. Uh, right for them that it doesn't include some of the games that you would normally want but that's just me where are you with that yeah i think that's another one that you you sort of look at and see okay where are the advantages and disadvantages and i'm sure in our head coaches meeting it'll be shown to us why one may be more adv advantageous to our league than the other um obviously when you're playing for a league championship you want the competition to be as close as possible and we have uneven schedules mm -hmm. so uh, it does make a difference when you have an uneven schedule who the conference champion is so those are things that we'll discuss uh, at the at the league meetings yep. and ultimately I think every coach wants what's best for the conference and what's best for their program that's college basketball there you go